guys, it's Tiffany here. Today, I will be drawing my journey on Animal Jam. Okay, let's start off with the beginning. On a Saturday afternoon around late February of 2016, me and my sister were bored and we wanted to find a multiplayer game where we could both play together. We didn't know what to play, but I remember scrolling through my subscription box on YouTube and I saw a YouTuber called Cookie Swirl C playing a game called Animal Jam. I thought I'd give it a go, so after downloading the game, I started playing for hours. From morning to noon. And I remember those days where I would be excited to go home just to play this brand new game. I learned to trade and I met a few new friends and I was pretty happy with this new game. I also got my cousin to play it too and we had a lot of fun challenging each other by playing mini games. Around June 2016, I saw my sister watching an Animal Jam YouTuber named Pari. And at that time, I was interested in becoming a YouTuber, but I didn't know what type of content I would like to make. The Animal Jam YouTubers inspired me so much that I decided to create my own Animal Jam channel. On September 2nd, 2016, I created the channel you're watching right now. And believe me, I created so many other Animal Jam channels, but they just don't seem to appeal to me. I lost interest in Animal Jam's play well, so I moved to AJPC, aka Animal Jam PC, and stayed there for quite a long time. I remember waking up early every single day just to make videos and check on my channel. It was so fun! Not long after I lost my Animal Jam PC membership, I lost interest in the game. And I decided to move back to AJ Play Wild. And that time, the game was still young, and Animal Jam Play Wild was getting more pep was getting more popularity compared to AJ PC. Around June of 2017, I came across a channel called Tuna Luna Tone, and she was my idol. I wanted to be like her, and I drew her during classes. I admired her work so much. AJ Playwa only had a few famous YouTubers back then, with the highest amount of subscribers being only 10,000 subscribers. Luna was only at 600 subs when I first found out about her channel. And she grew like wildfire. She was becoming so famous. And I wanted to follow in her pod steps like the annoying kid I was. I'm a person who has social anxiety and is always afraid to ask people for something, but at this point, my 14 year old self was like, uh, nope, I'm just gonna walk up to Luna and ask her if we wanted to collab. She surprisingly said yes and I was so happy. And I did the announcement and she reposted it on her channel and I was like, girl, what are you doing? This is awesome. That's when I started gaining more subscribers and I got more motivation to keep going. Of course the real collab never made the cut since we had issues while editing, but that was okay. As months go by, my channel was exploding with views and subscribers and I was over the roof. From earning only 1 to 10 subscribers a month to 50 and 80 subscribers a day, it was a miracle and I kept creating as much as I could to turn to entertain my audiences. One day we discovered that Luna was actually a scammer and a bully. She was so overwhelmed she decided to quit the Animal Jam Playbook community and I was indeed upset about it but I moved on. So after that, I kept going with my channel and I played Animal Jam Play World till this day and nothing much really happens on Animal Jam Play World these days so I don't really have anything else to say then I actually had a really good time on the game. So yeah guys, that's my journey at, um, until now. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to my story and uh, how did you first discover Animal Jam? Tell me in the comments down below. 
Thanks for watching and have a great day. Stay awesome and I'll see you potatoes in my next video. Goodbye.